this is it. So it's zero one, and it's it's basically um, it's a kind of a new platform that's just came out of nowhere, basically, or seems to come out of nowhere, right? And you know, I'm always I've always been sort of Tezos this, Tezos that. Um, this is more I I would say more accessible than Tezos, and actually because I, the reason I say that and there's also a nice community that's been uh, developed out of it and it's not just a single chain community it's a cross-chain community because you've got people from Ethereum from Tezos all sort of minting together even though you get that on the other platforms but there's um there seems to be this sort of level playing field going on on this platform with all all sort of creators basically but the good thing about it is you don't need any crypto at all. Not even a little bit of crypto in your wallet. So you can set up a um, um, a MetaMask wallet without any crypto in at all and still mint and still collect and do everything. And and to me, that's what makes it that's slightly more accessible than Tezos because the blocker for Tezos was always... You needed to yeah. get a little bit of Tezos into the into the um, wallet. So it, it just works on MetaMask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. MetaMask, but you then you switch to uh, within MetaMask, you switch to the um, a blockchain called Avalanche. It's basically it's it's, a, it's very much in a sort of pilot phase at the moment, and you you know you're basically just um, on a front page, and there's people just posting stuff. And you know you're literally just collecting as as stuff's coming in, basically. A piece of work pops up. It's you know for a certain amount of um, additions, and then uh, see that well that one's just gone up and it's all collected already. So people are really quick, right? Um, so you collect it and then you sell it on, basically. Well, well, at the moment, it's it's more just people uh, posting stuff and then collecting stuff. So basically, so what you do, is, so so once you've posted something, so let's let's say that that person's just posted that, then that they will get ten mint passes to basically collect other people's work. Um, and then in terms of the integration, it's not it's it's starting to come there. So there's uh, just one second. So, so this is the exchange, basically. So, basically, what you can do, yeah. So, what you can do um, is you can basically uh, transfer stuff into this exchange and then sell it, right? But the thing is, everything that's everything that's uh, exchanged on on here is for free, and then basically uh, th there's like a um, what do you call it royalty on it so basically so, so if it gets resold on that exchange and obviously that's where you can get start to get money back in but really the idea with this platform is to take all that financial so a bit like we were talking about really that sort of removing all that financial barrier but what what i found quite nice about it is that it's it's um um it's like um, a discovery site, really. So I, I find myself, I, I, I'm pretty much never on Twitter now. I used to be on it all the time, looking through posts. But now I, I just scroll through this. And then I, if I see an artist that looks quite interesting, I just, uh, like this guy, or whoever it is, I just click on them to see what their, you know, see what their profile is, see what their work's like. Um, it's like you know, a really nice sort of um, art discovery tool, I think. So, like, you just clicked on the profile of that guy. Yeah. Would if you wanted to see what else he's been doing or whatever he's up to. Yeah. So obviously, his profile has got links to Twitter and his his um, Instagram and his website and all that sort of stuff. So you can go and and search him. Yeah. On, um, I think. All, all these are are linked to on OpenSea as well, so they go directly on OpenSea. So they can be traded on here, I guess, as well. Um, but at the moment, I think 
most a lot of people don't not that keen on open sea are they so i think a lot of people are using um using that platform that i just showed you this campfire so basically so i'll give an example he's so he's posted all these on that platform for free and then they've been two sold uh both for 12 avalanche which is around 120 quid 120 dollars yeah so each of those people have made 120 dollars um minus the royalties minus ah, the royalties okay. yeah? yeah so obviously okay. when it's sold of that of that 120 dollars 20 percent royalties will go to the person and then the rest will go to the person that sold it um <clears throat> So, so basically, yeah, that's that's so it's quite a nice little ecosystem, and um, but what it's doing is obviously getting a lot of work out there, and it's generating as another another mechanism for collecting, basically. Exactly. So, so, the only resale market for the site is that linked to the site specifically? For no, resale? no, yeah, no. This is nothing to do with that site. This is just a marketplace that you can use to basically. Oh, an avalanche marketplace. Yeah, yeah. So Avalanche Marketplace is nothing to do with um with the same chain. With with the zero one platform. Yeah. yeah. But what what you what you're doing is transferring this you're transferring this into the into that marketplace. But really the, the focus on this platform is just collecting is sharing and collecting with the added bonus that you can actually, you know, um you know, you can potentially sell that work if you wanted to at some point yep, yep. so it's quite I mean, in terms of how it works um and this is what i love about it i think what well, the thing i learned over the summer is that this whole wallet thing is a nightmare and it's yeah it's definitely time to embrace the sort of what web 2.5 sort of scenario or, or at least um you know uh yeah ba basically you know use that as a way just to get people onboarded and then you can start to look into the wallets and all that later on because i found that uh like a site like this gives you gives you those options right so that's your web 2 email option now your web 2 uh, and or you could use your metamask option right but the obviously so a set account up now with the email right so email and then and this is quite a nice integration right it's, it's this particle uh, authentication and it's it's actually quite nifty so so you, how safe quick, is that then i don't know but i i think there's no passwords i quite like that so basically as long as your email account is secure because you know at the end of the day you are reliant on that email account that's the web two way. Um, so basically what you're doing is send say, send code and it sends the code. A lot of other things do it now that way. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like the two factor authentication almost, isn't it? Like if you just put your password in, it never goes. It just goes like, and now we send you a code. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. And then sign your message. That's it, you're in. And, um, you know, it's as simple as that, right, basically. And then... Uh, you like i say you, you get that option to create um create a piece of work and then you you've got 24 hours until you can create another piece of work but uh so once you've created the once you've created and shared a piece you get 10 passes at the moment i've got zero passes here um the eager collector <laughs> so, yeah yeah so basically the crate the crate's very simple uh, oh, you got to set up a profile first. Let's do that. At the moment, I'll do, yeah. I'll do, I'll do that later. Um, so, go on, let's put that's a lot there. easier than setting up the other profiles, isn't it? Bloody oh, hell. It's such yeah, a nightmare. That's what I mean. It's it, so this site's been built on the on the idea of trying to onboard, you know, easily onboard people basically into this into Web three. Um, without the you know all those sort of um. 
all those uh, sort of challenges, basically. To trade. I think I might test it before I connect everything. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I mean, what you could do is um, I'd recommend just maybe just to play around and and do, you know, just try, try it with uh, something that's not too, too precious. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just an interesting experiment at the moment and it seems to have quite, um, quite a, a lot of really good artists posting stuff, but it is pretty potluck, you know, potty luck and, and then quite the, addictive, isn't it? Addictive, and then obviously the you know if an artist pops up, especially if it's a small addition, it'll go pretty fast. So most but, of them seem to be like fifteen or like max. There's not like seventeen. Yeah, no, uh, hundreds the max. You can hundred edition is the is the ma maximum you can um, you can do. So some people do hundred editions, and a hundred edition can go quite fast as well. But yeah, when it's a ten edition, it can go like seconds. So yeah, well, that's it really go. interesting. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, there's a lot of refreshing going on because obviously you've got to keep refreshing to get the new, new, new work up. I like the um, visual identity. The logo always changes. Oh, does it when you refresh? Then you notice that. Refresh is a different logo. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, all these sort of like symbols, icon stuff is quite cool. Yeah, it's very simple, isn't it? I like I like the layout. I like that it's just one front page. Mm -hmm. and it's not it's not it's not it's not a marketplace. It's not it's not it's obviously good because it hasn't got all those things. Yeah, it doesn't need to be act like it doesn't need to behave like a marketplace at all. So do you know how it's running it? Is it like a group of artists who started it? Or? Yeah, like so it? it's. Um, it's yeah there's a they're quite known actors in the space that you know that they're respected people in the space they're connected to the museum of crypto art oh it's cold so what's the website again did you put it in the chat no, uh, the zero one art Nice one. Um, so it's this. So this is the guy who runs the site. Um, I've got Twitter on here. Yeah. So it's is Museum of Crypto. So yeah. So they've got like um, I guess a bit of you know they're kind of respected in the community. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It, it, it's all on IPFS as well. So you know, even if this plat, even if this zero one platform goes down. It's the same thing. It's all they all exist on the IPFS, so it doesn't matter. There you go. So give it a go. You got nothing to lose. Even Definitely. if you don't do, you don't even have to put a Twitter account on it. You can be anonymous. Um, which again is is, and also get on it, make an account. Um, because at some point they're going to lock it down so it's invite only mm. um on it. <laughs> yeah so um they're, they're basically uh, they've obviously opened it up now and the busier and busier it gets at some point they're gonna they're gonna yeah, do that sort of manage the numbers basically but obviously if you got an account you'll be in there and it's it's free and easy to set an account up now but yeah, I think it's like I say. I think for for us uh, onboarding people into Web three, this is the perfect platform in terms of uh, uh, taking away all those sort of financial barriers. And and to me, it, it, there's something quite interesting around the sort of potential to, you know, to me this is like the the social media platform. Web3 social media platform ish. It's kind of a halfway house between a between an NFT marketplace and a social media platform. I think they might start integrating more social media -y things potentially because you know, and I think that's part of their motto in the uh, thing is like, uh, where is it? You know, that they're basically they're calling it a cultural distribution engine. 
uh, enables individuals to connect, connect, connect. But I think this is, you know, they're moving beyond the likes and economic barriers. So basically, yeah, the idea that you can spend ages liking lots of content on on a on the site, but here you can like it by collecting it, obviously, um, but you also own that content as well. So there's like um, your, your efforts of um, sort of liking a piece of work are rewarded, if you like. I think it's 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 got legs. Okay, so we're going to get some fresh air. I need it. I think we're all busy setting up the accounts now. It's just oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> we set it up now. <laughs>